He just finished a 60 story building and he designed the whole process in about two hours. My name is Leon Domino and I'm the Managing Director of Sparks Apartments Consulting Engineers. We've been in business now for coming up to 34 years. We have about 43 staff in total, 70% um, of them are hydraulic engineers. There was a lot of spreadsheets, a lot of Barry's books, a lot of handwritten calcs and you would get different answers along the method. So previously there was a, a non-uniform approach. One of the main reasons we adopted myself to adopt H2X and the company was to incorporate a unified approach. We liked the fact that it had a method of calculation that was acceptable across many formats and disciplines, including of industry. So you could, the same calculation you would use with the method you could use for an industrial sector, you could then roll on to a residential sector and a, and a commercial sector. And we found that quite advantageous because you didn't have to go back and forth through multiple spreadsheets, it was all under the one umbrella. One of the main benefits we found with utilising H2X is the time and the quality. So we had a recent example of one of our employees who's, who was a very, very initiative of, he was very innovative in H2S in one of its early days in the, in, in the company that he just finished a 60 story building and he designed the whole process in about two hours. And using that, what I see is, that's phenomenal. If I was doing that 10 years ago, that would take me a couple of guys, a couple of days. And these days, the, the speed of the industry, time is money. The other benefit we found using H2X was the qualities. As I told, like the first thing is accurate results. It's really good and it's quick. It's quick, like you have to just model the pipe work and in the extracts and you get quick results. So I did one for one of the big jobs, like 60 stories, um, one circular key project. It was an apartment um, tower. So I did it, I did the heat loss calculations for hot water pipe size and hot water pipe sizing in a couple of hours. And I sent it to peer review and I just used the link, you know, the read only link to, to the peer reviewer. And yeah, it was approved. It was all good. They could check nicely, like everything clearly. Yeah. It's the interface between their methods. So they start the project, they can draw the sketch, you're going to calculate a design sketch and method very, very early on in the piece. Once that sort of happens, the, they can workflow through the different iterations of architecture drawings without too much fuss or hassle. And that's one of the major thorns in every, every director's side is the redo and the redo of work. So resource management to me is very, very important and utilizing these, this method is, I can see nothing but positives. I have no doubt that I would see this in councils, healthcare, education, being the base of submittable processes and being the equilibrium of hydraulic engineering in terms of what you need to present and conform to. Would the Selfish of me to give away this trick, but I think I have to. You know, utilizing H2X outside of Sparks and Partners and in, in, in the industry as, as a whole would only benefit the construction industry in general. We used to use Excel spreadsheet for calculations like hot water, return sizes, and even pipe sizes for cold water. So, what I think there's no control on spreadsheet, like everyone uses different spreadsheet and the, we don't know the value whether it is accurate or not. I think it's outdated now, so we need more accurate values. So I think we should rely on something which is accurate, which is asterisks, than spreadsheets. Yeah.